on the line. It is Damien Slater. Congratulations, buddy, on being named as one of the competitors in the Cruiserweight uh, tournament. Um, this must just be a whirlwind at the moment. It's uh, it's more than a whirlwind. It's, it's something I've known about for a long time, but to see it finally announced and be able to actually spill the beans and, and let people know, is it's just been unreal. It's probably been the craziest, busiest week of my life, and I probably haven't even touched the surface of what I'm about to enter into. Because, I mean, just looking at some of the names here that are in this tournament, you've got Kota Ibushi, Tajiri, uh, Tajiri in this tournament, Zack Sabre Jr., who just came off a, an awesome match with Kurt Angle uh, over at Rev Pro. You've got Cedric Alexander, Brian Kendrick, Daivari, Gargano and Champa, Tazawa. I mean, like, the names that are in this is a who's who, and it's. I'm so glad that they have really, truly made this a global tournament and really getting the, the word out there to people in every market. It's fantastic. Yeah, 100%. I mean, like, you look at the names, and obviously a lot of them are, are big names on the independents in Japan, UK, America. But for them to reach out to Australia is something that we probably never would have thought would happen, even, I guess, as soon as five years ago. Australia was a little bit forgotten about. We'd never, we'd never really had an official tryout here. We'd never had an Australian go and do anything in, in, in the WWE. So... It, uh, it's just a changing world, and to know that we now have, you know, eight eight wrestlers who have signed contracts with the with the WWE from Australia is just unreal, completely unreal. And it's pretty cool as well seeing today on NXT. Spoiler alert: if you're a massive NXT fan and you haven't seen it yet, three, two, one, TM six one uh, getting the victory over Buddy Murphy. AKA Matt Silver and Wesley Blake. So, like, it's really cool that, uh, you know, with their theme song, they've got the, a bit of a chant going already with the crowd and, and they're starting to become familiar to the fans over there already. Uh, it's really letting the world know that, that we've got that great talent that, you know, when we spoke on the podcast about three odd years ago and it was kind of that realization that it is now the, the, the time from, from that moment onwards where people would start to take notice of Australia and, uh, and, and now it's happening. So do you know where you're going to be headed, uh, for the tournament? Is it going to be based in Florida? Yeah, it's in Orlando. So, uh, we're filming at full sale. Um, <clears throat> where NXT's filmed. Um, but yeah, it's going to be all be, as far as I'm aware, all based in Orlando, which is their, their home base, right where the performance center is and, and where they obviously film NXT. So there'll definitely be a catch up with the uh, Russell Rampage alum, uh, Peyton Royce <laughs> and Billy Kay yeah. and whatnot, that whole crew. That's, that must be, it must be pretty cool for the Aussies heading over there that get to NXT, even if it's just for a tryout, you know, to sort of see in the flesh that our mates are making it, our buddies are making it, you yeah. know, and, and there's, we're just that step closer. So looking at this list of competitors, who do you want to, I mean, they're all great names, but who can you really see yourself having a, a great match with? Um, first name that comes to mind is definitely TJ Perkins. Not many people may know, but me and TJ do go a long way back. So when I went to America in 2007 for a, for a three-month stay, I was actually training with him. Um, there was really only a couple of us there, and, and he was he was one of them. And being that I grew up really loving the technical style, he was a guy that I really kind of latched onto and I picked his brain and, and he taught me a lot of what I know now. And, uh, I went back in 2009 for another three months and it was pretty much just me and him one on one, uh, training every day. And then, uh, for the big day out tour in 2013 around Australia, uh, not that you could tell who we were because we were all hooded warriors, <laughs> but, uh, I actually got a chance to, to wrestle TJ on that loop. So we had a few matches against each other and also teaming up. So, man, to, to be able to face someone who's been a mentor to me and, and an inspiration in the WWE would just be completely unbelievable. It's a completely surreal experience. But, I mean, other than that, uh, the, the names you've said have been incredible. Zack Sabre Jr., he's obviously a, a good friend of, of Jonah Rock and, and Shane and, and Mike, sorry, Nick Miller. Uh, so, <laughs> he's, 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 a, he's a top guy. He's, he, and obviously being that I do like grappling on the mat. I don't get a big chance to show it off in Australia just because 
various reasons, but I guess the technical style isn't that huge in Australia compared to overseas. So um, being able to actually show off what I can do with someone who is obviously known for that style would be um, would be incredible. So definitely either of those two guys come to mind. Well, it's probably understandable because, I mean, down here with the uh, the matches, a lot of the matches that you are in these days, are, it's usually main events, you know what I mean, or in those sort of big, mm-hmm. big sort of uh, emotionally charged matches where, uh, you know, there's a lot of heat getting more so than the, the technical showing off, you know what I mean? But, I mean, I was lucky enough to see some of those undercard matches years ago that you had where it was just... You sit there watching you, thinking, "Geez, you could you could think of a dozen dream matches with other wrestlers that we where you'd like to see Damien Slater take this guy on or that guy on." So uh, yeah. it's it's very it's a very cool opportunity. And how are we going to handle the uh, I guess the situation with the Australian National Championship? I mean, you could be holding two belts. I could hold every belt in the country if I wanted. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to make I'm going to make I'm going to make do with whatever I've got. So if I've got a title. And I'm around. I'm going to defend it. But um, I mean, the WWE deal at, at this at this stage is just the cruiserweight classic. So I'll certainly be back in Australia, and I'm super pumped for the next uh, Wrestle Rampage show at Sebi Theatre. So I'll be out there. I'll be there, repping my title. I'll be repping myself, repping the Brotherhood, and uh, you know, some time in the WWE and some time wrestling on on the WWE network in front of millions isn't going to change what I'm focusing on down here. Yeah, well, I maybe jumped the gun about the uh, the cruiserweight title, but I think it's maybe just because so many people want it back. It's sort of like, oh, there's got to be a belt, there's got to be a belt, but a trophy nonetheless is going to be uh, is going to be awesome. And Wrestle Rampage Theberton Theatre uh, later on this year. Do we have a date for that one? Uh, I don't believe so. I think it's coming out soon, from what I've been told. Okay. Uh, by those who are organising it, but yeah, it should be released quite soon, from what I've been told. But I mean, either way, I'm I'm excited. Still away, still away off. So I've got time to focus on the WWE now, and and um, then we'll come back and and really tear the house down. Well, unless of course Vince snaps you up, then in which case uh, <laughs> this might be the last bit of contact we have for some time. You never know. So uh, you've got to make the most of it. But uh, look, on behalf of everyone at the network, I just want to say a big thank you for really supporting the the shows. You know, for the, the last two or three years that we've been doing it, and uh, really getting behind what we're doing. And uh, I thought, well, it, we got we got to get you on and at least say congrats and uh, yeah, get your thoughts on the. On the whole thing, so uh, I know everyone's very proud and uh, can't wait to see you kick ass on the WWE Network for nine ninety nine US. <laughs> I'm, I'm pumped, Josh. I mean, it's, it's as much as I've wanted to take my career overseas and, and really make it as far as I can. It's, it's always good to to bring the support back to Australia. I think the Australian scene is so severely underrated, and I know mm-hmm. we have multiple people who who truly should have full-time deals uh, and making a lot of money in the process. So uh, to be able to promote local local wrestling, which Australia is, is completely on a world-class level, uh, that really brings a, a big sense of pride. But, I mean, the focus now is the WWE, the Cruiserweight Classic, and this is, this is really my opportunity to stand out and, and make something of this. 14 years uh, is a long time, and... and I don't have any regrets, and, and if nothing comes from this, then I'm still the happiest guy in the world. But, I mean, my goal is, is to really make it to, to secure a contract and, and just keep taking my career further and further. So I hope that Australia can get on board and really support this. I mean, the network's free for a month, so you can give it a, you can give it a trial if you want, but I just hope everyone's watching uh, July 13th or the July 14th in Australia but when, it, uh, when the Cruiserweight Classic debuts because it's, this is an industry-changing event. So stoked to be a part of it all. And uh, just quietly, that announcement was actually made on Damien's birthday. So I'm pretty sure, dude, that you've actually <laughs> had the, the best birthday uh, any any wrestler or wrestling fan or anybody related to wrestling has had in Australia uh, <laughs> this year. I reckon. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a that was a that was a pretty busy day. I think. Um, my phone battery died three times during the day. I probably had a couple hundred notifications per hour and uh, fortunately still had to go through my regular 
daily life and training and all the rest while trying to deal with it, deal with it all and come to terms with it all. So no complaints though. That was <laughs> certainly the, the best uh, birth I've had. Oh, good on you. Oh, and just quickly, uh, another cheap plug here, uh, adelaidenow.com.au or in the advertiser, you can check out WRA's Sean Fuster uh, with a bit of an article on on yourself for uh, giving a good hold there to one Jonah Rock. So, and just quietly, we got to touch on this, dude. I know that the scenes are buzzed today with this fake Jonah Rock account. Uh, if you see an account, Jonah Wrestle, don't follow him, guys. Just block him. It's not actually him. <laughs> Uh, David Storm is having some fun with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think at some point we've all had a fake profile or two pop up. It's always a bit of fun and the boys always get in on the joke. So, so everyone, please add, jo- is it Jonah Russell? Jonah underscore Russell. <laughs> please add that account. Please message Jonah. Somehow he's from Sydney now, not Adelaide. But uh, all minor, minor mistakes aside, please go and give it a follow. Yeah, he's he's PWA champion. That's right. He's uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that's the belt that he that's the belt that he held for some time, I believe. Actually, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> oh man, gosh. All oh, right. Well, look, dude. Thank you uh, very very much. And just quickly throw some plugs out there where people can uh, follow you on social media and keep up with your travels and and all that. Yeah, sure thing. I mean, I'm I'm pretty active on social media, and I'll certainly be uh, giving out plenty of updates while I'm overseas next week. Uh, but on Instagram, you can search me on D Slats, D S L A T S. Uh, on Facebook, just look up Damien Slater. You'll find my, um, my official account on there. Uh, Twitter, I'm just under Damien Slater. That's Damien with an A, not an E, as some people like to misspell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, search me up. I, I try to remain active and I, I try to respond, uh, when I can. And, I think social media is such a big a big thing at the moment, so I just try to make sure my presence is always felt in some way or the other. Very so cool. Don't hesitate to, to drop us a line or give us a retweet. Any support helps, um, especially with this tournament. I really want, to be honest, I really want the WWE to, to take notice and know that Australian fans are some of the most uh, supportive and dedicated fans in the world, especially when it comes to professional wrestling. So I, I'd really love if, uh, if Aussie fans, you know, made their voices heard and, and, and let the world know that we want some Australians to really take over this thing. That's it. Tell Vincent Trips where the action is. It's right here down under. And, uh, of course, if you do see Damien Slater at a show, you can pick up merchandise produced by our great sponsors, Wrestle Merch Printing. There you go, Tom. There's the plug, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, man. Right. Good man. I'm going to, uh, to let you get home and uh, do what you've got to do and prepare for this monster trip. But, uh, again, thank you very much, dude, for having a chat with us and all the best with the uh, the trip to Florida and the Cruiserweight Tournament, WWE. Absolutely. I look forward to any future chats we may have if the time comes. Very cool. Thank you, brother. No, thanks, Josh.